Hi, my name is Manuel Mejorada. In this episode, I'm going to show you another shipment I, I received, uh, of course, from China. And uh, this is a, a set of two mountain pens from a company named Thundit. It says Thundit Classic Mountain Pen, a 0 uh, 0.5 mm classic black mountain pen for calligraphy. And uh, the second one is a Thundit Calligraphy uh, Fountain Pen Creative uh, 0 0.5 uh, Metal. So I bought this for, the first one is 159 pesos, and the second one comes as a bonus at uh, 104 pesos. So I paid around, uh, plus shipping, 299 uh, pesos. So I figured uh, I can uh, try this and uh, not worry about the quality. But uh, my experience with the Chinese pens have been so good so far. I'm getting good quality for a very, very cheap price. I have already a number of uh, China-made uh, pens. So I saw this and uh, I said it's quite cheap. So let me try this. Okay, here it is. Okay, so... Uh, uh, it comes with a it comes with a gift box, you know, the the first one, uh, which is uh, and uh, it also has uh, three extra nibs. Uh, okay, so there it is. Okay, so let me open, uh, remove the plastic cover. I think it's uh, patterned after a Parker pen, uh, fountain pen. I am not too sure because uh, I'm not too familiar with the other brands. But uh, look, uh, from its looks, it, uh, it it does appear to be uh, copied uh, from a uh, Parker fountain pen design. So it looks looks classy for a pen that's uh, only uh, 109 pesos, uh, 159 pesos. This one, and uh, uh, again. Uh, it comes with uh, three extra nibs. Okay, so just uh, pull out and then uh, there it is. Uh, so you can see the close-up for, for its nib. And uh, it comes with, uh, I think, a converter, an ink converter uh, to, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, it comes with an ink in converter uh, uh, for me to uh, put ink inside. Okay, so the second one, let me see. Okay, this one looks very... I was really attracted uh, uh, to this uh, pen uh, because it, it looks very ornate. Of course, it looks expensive. And uh, anybody who is not uh, familiar with fountain pens at first look will be impressed. Uh, by the way this uh, uh, fountain pen uh, looks. Here it is. So let me remove the uh, plastic uh, uh, cover. So it has a pretty ornate design. Uh, here it is. Look at uh, how nice the uh, body looks uh, so uh, anybody with no knowledge about fountain pens will <laughs> exclaim this must be expensive you know? and uh, uh, they will never know that this cost me only 159 pesos and uh, it comes with an extra it comes with uh, this uh, uh, digital uh, oh this uh, Oh, this is a ball pen. I thought, uh, yeah, this is, comes with a free ball pen. Okay, so uh, a fountain pen plus a ball pen for 159 pesos. That's not bad. And the design of the uh, ball pen uh, is not, uh, looks uh, good no? uh, for uh, this price. Okay. And this one. So let me uh, check. Okay, so the, the nib design is different from the first one. 
Okay, this uh, uh, make, let's make a comparison between their names and the body design. This one is thinner. Uh, so again, again, I said uh, this looks like a Parker fountain pen, and uh, I think I've seen Parker fountain pens also having the same uh, uh, nib uh, design. Uh, now this one is uh, has an ornate uh, lacquer finish uh, with uh, Chinese uh, uh, Chinese uh, looking uh, uh, design. Uh, uh, on the body and uh, again uh, it has uh, its uh, own uh, uh, ink converter along with it so uh, I will have to uh, try this uh, later on but uh, for now it's uh, enough that uh, I will uh, give you uh, I will show you these uh, two fountain pens that just came uh, from Shopee so for about 300 bucks not bad my name is Manuel Mejorada for our blog, Pluma, the Fountain Pen.